Hello artists and welcome back to Layers of Fear. I'm having a lot of fun playing this very spooky and unnerving game. I had a comment last time that there were quite a few cuts in episode one, which I agree with, and sometimes those cuts are necessary, but for the sake of suspense, I'm only gonna cut out anything that is absolutely necessary. Anything else I will keep in. It might make the series a little bit longer, but hopefully it'll be for the best. Now with that said, let's dive back into Layers of Fear. Shapeless Dreams. Was that like the, the chapter name? Let's find out. Where will we be? Okay, corridor. We've been in this corridor before, I feel. Ah, but we've not been in this room before. There is a, a lift or an elevator, as my American friends would say. Let's close this door, right. What does it say? Power on or off and we can go up or down. It goes up. Red light, that's not going to work. But it won't go down either. Ah, there we go. Just didn't close the door properly. Ooh. That was a freaky person. I think we just saw a ghost. Cat in the... What was that? Try the doors as we go. Locked. Oh, nothing in there. Such apprehension as we walk down the corridor. Nothing in there. Ah, hello. Now this door's slightly open, right. Uh, are any of the other doors slightly open? No, they, these are all gonna remain locked, aren't they, yeah. Mm, so room full of paintings, there's a key. And a letter. Dear Sir, while I can certainly understand that you're upset and have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure that me and my colleagues at St Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information of several specialists who would be more than competent and help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. Okay, so, seems like wife needs skin grafts. 
I'm wondering if from the uh Oh, it's changed again. The burning at the apartment building, potentially. Is this still the elevator? Yes, it is. You're locked. Why'd you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Ooh. Like corrupting, burning away. I've still got a key. This one's still locked. Ah, there we go. Ever-changing rooms and corridors. Laurentine. Also locked. Oh no, just need to pull it. Upwards, upwards, into the attic. What? Ooh. Oh dear. This does not seem safe. Fire down below. If there's anything I can find or collect in here, I don't think so. Okay, that. That sound is actually terrifying. That is horrific. Please don't say there's a child in the trunk. Oh, cripes. How did I know that was gonna happen? Very good sound editing. I gonna hear the sound was coming from the box. Oh dear. What do we have here? Just a just a simple corridor, nothing to be worried about. Where are we now? Back in a room that I've been in? Oh no, but the, there are rat traps. Warning sign. The following list is a completion of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Are typically diagnosed between the age of 15 and 25. The disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as uh, conclusive evidence that this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Blank expression stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depersonalization, what does that even mean? Awkward clumsy movements, might be from the accident. Prone to anger and resentment, more passive aggressive. Lack of motiv motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies, question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. So who was that report about? Was that about? Oh, there is a rat. That was definitely a rat. Um, was that about me or was that about my wife? Make up your mind. Ah. 
can go that way, but I also want to check over here. Right trap. The rat definitely went into that wall. I definitely saw it. There was definitely a rat there. There's a door here as well. Just another cabinet. So many cab. Oh, we're back in here. Oh, but no, this is different. But same fireplace with the, the stag head. Ooh. Freaky statue. Anything in here for me? No, there's some medals. Not Saturn eating his son. Goya painting. Um, hmm. Last time I stood in front of this, I got a, got a bit of a scare. No, nothing happening. Got some some matches. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything. Hello? <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. Saturn's now over here. Anything in these drawers? No. 165. Six five we've got ah Hello mm. safe combination yet. I've got 165 which could be for something else. That's more of a three digit combination isn't it? You, uh, you open. What about you? Do you open as well? No you're locked. Oh <laughs> creepy noises. on the walls uh, it cannot be undone it's written backwards I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of stuff that I'm missing that people oh am I going through a mirror Ah. It cannot be undone, yeah, okay. This is all a little bit drunken. I'm not a fan of this long corridor.
Oh, charming. Lots of very disturbing noises. Good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Oh. What does that say? Pop kill? Hmm. I'm not sure. of holes in the walls again. Uh, oh! Criminy. This is much more jump scary <laughs> than Bendy and the Ink Machine was, I tell you. I'm loving it. I love a good jump scare. Um, just not what I was expecting. I was expecting a, just a little bit of psychological horror, a little bit of a puzzle game, but no, we've got jump scares and, and all sorts. Ah, hello. Oh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Blimey. What is this game doing to me? Okay, definitely a rat. Definitely saw a rat. Ooh. That's the wheelchair. It's like melted into the ground. So I can go this way. So I'm going to check the other way first. Ah, and I can also go this way. Can I go this way? Oh. Oh, it's swapped around. Okay. So every time we go to the end, is it? Just, let me chest. Is this just going to swap around again? So if I try to escape from here, is it going to do? It? Yes. And then we're back to to here. Oh, that's good. I like that. Let's have a little peeky peek in this side first. Oh, ceiling fan fell down. Hello? Hello? Huh. Anything in the cabinet? No. Of the sounds. I'm wearing headphones as well, so it's um, yeah, fully amplified in my my ears, and it's uh, it's very freaky. It's very well designed sounds. Ah, right. I can't go through either of those doors. Is there anything here for me? No. Painting? Are you going to show me anything? No. What if I try to go back? 
locked. Ah. So freaky. some light. Mine. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Door has closed. Ah! So you can only have one set of candles on at a time. April 4th, found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but God damn it, he should know better. But the small child in the house is just irresponsible. Yeah, that is very irresponsible. A key. Drags along the floor, they're like. You know what? I should probably investigate, shouldn't I? That's. Uh, it's from this painting. Oh. Oh. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Okay, so I do have a dodgy leg. It's um Is it a prosthetic one though? Or, or do I just have a bad leg? I love this kind of reality warping puzzle game where you're really not sure what's real and what's not and it's kind of a liminal space isn't it where things are happening I'm not exactly sure if rooms are really rooms or corridors are really corridors Prosthesis snatchers, why the damn leg, insatiable bastards, I can't afford a new one. Oh, so the rats? Oh, what's... A record on here. Ah, there's a record. Let's just have a little snoop around first, see if there's anything else for me. Don't think I can. No, 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 nothing there, right?
around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. Oh dear, I'm playing the record backwards and um, everything is melting. Um, I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Ooh. So... Decided the best way to tap blood from someone's vein was to suck it out like it was gas from a car rather than using a medical syringe, sure. Ooh, how do I get how do I get through you? There's no new door handle. to play this again the right way and put things back how they were. Assuming it's my studio, it looks like the uh, side table's melted a little bit. What's this we have here? I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now you, there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This old tortured ass, this nonsense has got to stop. This going to be more things that I've uncovered. So we had a piece of flesh that we put on the canvas, and now we've got some blood. All sounds very um. Oh, stop looking at me like that! It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Sure, because drinking makes everything better. Uh, so a note on the floor. Hate even now, lost alone, you deserve it. A grave for you, finish it. Ooh, ah, right, okay. Ah, so I'm guessing there are six things that I need to collect to finish this piece of artwork. And I have done two of them, that being 
the blood and the flesh. So we've got the the fleshy flamingos. Let's see what we have now. Oh, again, it's quite it's quite fleshy, isn't it? We've got come some kind of cave, maybe. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but it's um. Yeah, it is horrific. And there we go. That is episode two finished. Join me next time and we'll pick up where we left off from here. Really enjoying the spooks on this one. As always, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. And until next time, goodbye.